The DRDO has again test fired the Pralay new generation short range guided ballistic missile successfully from a mobile launcher today. Officials have said that during today's test, the Pralay missile was tested for heavier payload and different range. The Pralay missile features jet vane control system, and it also has the ability to evade the air defense system due to its non parabolic trajectories. The Pralay will have cheaper production costs since the missile is entirely made up of systems and components of other missiles that are already in production. At a time when India and UK are expected to enter into a strategic partnership to develop a high-thrust jet engine for the AMCA program, the British Ministry of Defence has announced that UK and Japan have signed a memorandum of cooperation for the joint development of a jet engine from early 2022 that will power the British Tempest and Japan's FX Next Generation fighter. The Director General of the RDO's Aeronautical Systems has said that the indigenous technology cruise missile is just a technological demonstrator program for the testing and validating the indigenous manic small turbofan engine for the nearby missile, and it is not a separate active missile program that will eventually enter production. The 4.25 kN thrust manic turbofan engine will also power the 1,500 km range long-range land attack cruise missile that can be fired from the same launcher that is used by the BrahMos missiles that are installed on more than 30 Indian Navy warships, while the air-launched variant and surface-to-surface -surface variant will have more than 1,000 km range. The Indian Army is looking to procure 10 sets of medium-range precision kill system that will comprise of 120 loitering munitions with a range of 40 km and endurance of 2 hours and a shelf life of at least 15 years. The loitering munitions will be used by the artillery units to detect engage and strike static and moving targets with precision across all terrains including deserts and high-altitude areas. The Army has stated that it should come with 10 launchers, 30 forward observation stations, and the Indian vendors who qualify on the technical commercial and project requirements will be issued a project sanction order to develop a prototype of the system. The DRDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has handed over the 3 MW diesel engine infrared suppression signature system to the Indian Navy, for the indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant. Stealth is a key factor for the survivability of ships at sea, and this infrared suppression signature system minimizes the infrared radiation to conceal the naval vessel from infrared guided missiles. At 100% operational conditions, the infrared suppression signature system resulted in 85% reduction in the temperature levels of exhaust metal surface. During the ongoing multi-domain tri-service exercise under the Andaman and Nicobar command, the Shatrujit Brigade of the Indian Army has conducted an airborne exercise, during which specialist vehicles and missile detachments were transported to the region through AN-32 and C-130 aircraft. The exercise also included oxygen combat free fall jumps, integrated battle drills, mechanized columns and attack helicopters, to validate rapid response and combat capabilities.